I was so aggressive. I I realized later on I was so aggressive while talking on this topic that how people can do so, no? Mm. And the way Zulu, no, uh, abducted and the way he left, I felt like man, it was really nice, no? So even I countered him in day. I said, Zulu, how do you feel? No? He said, you guys did not. You guys know. But literally, he got countered uh, by. Everyone, you, me, Agni, everybody counted. Aksha, then he rushed. No, he rushed. Actually, he thought he is going to add some value, and he thought like maybe he would share some advanced thought. But <laughs> nobody was ready to explain. Yeah. Even 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 uh, Agni also said like you know that modernize like he calls it modernization. Right, he, right, he, right. Like what is this? What and the moment no he changed his statement. That was one of the awesome dialogue. Like to say he has said later. He said, guys. I'm like no, I was just. Uh, it was just like a fun. I just wanted to stress the conversation. That is why I said. However, he came up with a decision, yeah. just to yeah, impress he, others. <laughs> even even he got like you know what do we say? He got a little bit angry for the first time. Mm -hmm. I, I noticed something. that. I noticed that. <clears throat> yeah. So he was not uh, like he he manipulated that uh, later on, but it was good. Mm hmm. But it was good yesterday. Like two people, I think they were really you know people dragged them a lot in comment section. I think Nitish, Neha, Akanksha, and Palguni yeah, they dragged yeah, him yeah. a lot. Everybody, everybody was against uh, Rocky Bhai. <laughs> and you know, like I laughed on one uh, one comment of Rocky Bhai. Um, they didn't take our permission to give birth to us. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> every every conversation, I would say, every conversation, even though the the way Ak Akanksha says no, Rocky Bhai mm -hmm. is Nitish. I talked to him in his LS. Okay, great, yeah, great. See, even 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 you know when he said that like they didn't take consent from me while giving birth to no, me. No. I understood that this is Nitish. one of the funniest thing which Akan Akanksha said. No, Akanksha said like what has happened to Nitish when he left this. Uh, yeah. After that, what has happened to his mind? <laughs> yeah, what has happened to his mind? Yeah, it was like you know very savage dialogue. <laughs> I thought like, uh, what is this man? Like, why people? Are I dying? didn't, you know, I didn't laugh at that time. So I thought like it may, it may sound very rude. You know? Mm -hmm. So I kept signing, but um, no, it's not rude, guys. Like, see, sometimes no, there are certain parts no, of. No, see, say, sometimes dialogues so are not rude. But when everybody is laughing, laughing, then right, that right, person it, it sounds feels true. offended. No, but yeah. how innocently actually she put up, no? So that is why, we, like, I think we all. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. So, how was your day, Restless? Uh, yeah, like, uh, my day was quite busy uh, doing decoration for that gauri. Okay, Gare, uh, Garesh Chaturdasi. Yeah, mm, that's uh, wonderful. That's, so you also bring the idol of Lord Ganesha, and you. No, no, we don't bring like idol of Lord Ganesha. We 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 bring Gauri's, you know, Gauri, these two women. Uh, Parvati, Gauri's, uh, I think. Those sisters. Not sisters, like wife, wives. Uh, okay. 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 Gauri is basically we refer to Parvati, like law you can say goddess Parvati. She is like no her other mm. and the name is Gauri as well. If okay, I'm not okay. wrong. <laughs> Let me tell you just a second. Kaden, you can join. Agni, you can join. Yes, like I say, if you are out there. See, it 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 varies from you know region to region, so that's the thing. Let me tell you something. I am just uh, copy pasting something from internet. So 
Okay, mm-hmm. in many mm-hmm. regional culture, Gauri is considered to be Ganesha's sister, Jeshtha and Kanistha, who have come looking for him. Two idols of goddess Gauri are brought home and worshipped by people with elaborate rituals. Some people also believe Gauri is Gauri to be form of goddess Parvati, okay, Lord Ganesha's mother. Yes. That is what I was... Yeah, see, we bring Jeshta and Kanishta to our house and we okay. keep them, like, uh, you know, aside of... Uh, Lord Ganesha. Yeah, because they came to find him, looking after him. Mm-hmm. But, but, like, many people from different regions, they say, no, 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 this is the mother. Like, she, Gauri is mother of Lord Ganesha. But we also have some different, what do we say, thought mm-hmm. on that. Like but this so far, and to be very honest, even I was aware, like Gauri, I mean, she's uh, the mother of Lord Ganesha because Gauri we call Parvati. Like, no? uh, yes, but Parvati is already Lord. having a name, but he is also having sisters, no, two sisters. Okay, Jesta and Kanista. Yeah. So we are bringing them to our house. Okay, okay. Great. So and we you... do decoration for Jest and Kanishta. Mm-hmm. We don't have Ganpati in our house, Lord Ganesh in our house. We have Jeshta Kanishta, these two only. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. From okay. next year, we will bring Lord Ganesh as well. Why not this year? Uh, because mm, in next year, my brother may have a child. So what? My brother may have a child. Okay, <clears throat> okay. So your sister-in-law she is expecting a baby. Not exactly. She is not. Hi, Rohan. Hi. Hi, Falguni. Hi, Neha. Falguni, how are you? <laughs> Just ask Reesless. Ask Reesless. <laughs> Rohan. Ah, uh, yes, Falguni. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't say it. Okay. Are you can say it. How are you? No, 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 I can't. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave. Okay. Okay, so if there's something which you can't say, then. Are you? She left. Mm-hmm. Hi, Agni. Hi, uh, Rohan Raceless Falguni. Mm-hmm. Raceless, you are silent. Uh, um... Mute kar liya tha maine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. By the way, I'm extremely happy today because I got my first ever personal laptop. Oh, wow. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just my first ever laptop I got and I'm really happy for that. You, bought, happy for you, you. bought on your own? No, not on my own. Like there is contributions from my side as well. The majority of money was doesn't given matter. by my mother. Like, yeah. You got it, um, so we should be happy for it. It's like uh, HP uh, 14, uh, uh, HP 14s, and it it cost around forty thousand. I paid around fifteen thousand, and rest of the money was given by my mother. Oh, wow! Wow! Very great. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, what, what what you do with that laptop? Uh, I will. I, I have got uh, like I have already purchased so many of subscription to watch different lectures. So the big screen, the screen resolution is very nice, full HD plus. So I would love to watch lectures on laptops. And also there are many things I would try to. The laptop processor is also good, so I will try to learn programming and coding. Although I know basics, but I want to just get some expertise on that. So yeah. So what kind of uh, you know lectures are those? Are they? Mostly related to physics, which is my domain subject. And uh, yeah, even I watch lectures related to history and even economics as well. So, but mostly are physics lectures, which are associated with my, which are associated with my university. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great, man. Congratulations. Yeah, I used to watch all those in my mobile phone. Although the screen of mobile phone is also big, it's Note 11 Pro. But laptop is laptop, like you can't compare. Yeah, that is true. It's a, it's party time, Jaggu. Now it's yeah. time to go party. <laughs> if you were here, I would have thrown a party for sure. <laughs> okay. So 
So, like, you want me and Raceless to be there? Yeah, if you were here, then that would have been better. I can come there. I have Doraemon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then come here. Just disappear okay. and appear over here. Yeah, like one day it will be possible that you are going to just teleport from one place to another place. It may have some. Um, Do you have your personal laptop, Raceless? Uh, no, I don't have. Okay. I have I have one theory that I follow. If you don't need it, don't buy it. But I'm happy that you have two two desktop, no? <laughs> that like that is not mine. No? That is not mine. <laughs> See guys, people work on one desktop, but there is just work on two, two, two desktop. That's better. Yeah, desktop is better in some cases. But yes, if you're a student and you have some assignments, you are someone who is very engaged with schedule, then laptop is good. Otherwise, desktop is always better. Cool, 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 guys. Hi, Hritesh. Hi, Akansha. Who is Kalpana? Kalpana is Akansha? Are, sorry, Akansha. No, Akansha is Akansha. <laughs> Akansha is Akansha, Kalpana is Kalpana. Sorry, sorry, I missed that. Yeah, the comment was actually it went tough, so people were commenting, so I could not. Hmm, great, great. So guys, just suggest a topic. Like I just know, I was in Noida like noida sector 177 i was there and i just i think 10 10 to 15 minutes back i just i just came yeah, like i had a party so you guys can suggest or something i'll figure it out it's not like that because of course without a topic like it's like we are going just round and round so let's welcome to the gorgeous lady can you guys guess who is she? alexa <laughs> alexa is the gorgeous girl Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi Alexa. Hi Avya. Hi beginner. Alexa, don't you Hi. want to speak anything? Hi Rafi bhai. Hi Alexa, how are you? Although I have seen you today. Alexa was looking like Ashwara Roy today. And let me just you know have a look on. No, no, no. She, Are she, Alexa. Did, uh, she did, uh, you know, open open cam live stream, and she was looking like not exactly like Ashwara Roy, but uh, I will say definitely 30 40 percent, 30 40 percent for sure. And today, even I saw like I think today she was running her live LS, and I don't know whether it was her lenses, like, but she got she has got brown eyes and uh, even she removed in front of me those lenses those like lenses. and like and. Mm, cool, cool cool rocky bhai who is who is that actor in his dp okay. it's a rocky bhai only okay so rocky bhai is a character yes no, his name is Yash, I guess. And he's a can yes. yeah, he's an actor from Kannada film industry. Maybe Tilgu, I'm not hundred percent sure, maybe Kannada film industry. Yes, yes, he is Yash. You are hundred percent right. He is Yash from Kannada. Kannada movies. And he has played a role in KGF in KGF. KGF chapter one and two. Yeah. Okay, okay. So one of the actors in KGF. Yeah. Yes, yes. He is not Allu Arjun Kalpana. No, Allu was in, was in Pushpa movie, although that was also a nice movie. Yeah, that is also good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes. Bruce, yes, Bruce, you can suggest a topic, Bruce. Bruce, actually, every day... You I can also participate, topic, Bruce. If Bruce, you want to hop on, that would be better. Otherwise, you suggest. can participate from the comment section as well, but bring the topic. Yeah, Bruce. Just you no know, ten ten minutes ago, I just actually I came back I came back home. I was outside, so you no, know, I didn't get a chance to explore what I'm going to discuss today. So if you have something, you can suggest us. Love marriage and arranged marriage. Is it good to put criminals in the prison? 
what are some alternatives <laughs> what are you saying of you <laughs> hmm no he is not drunk uh, of course of you like if there's a party so it means the party is all about no some some drinks some people say non veg Mm -hmm. yeah so guys the topic is that is it a good idea to punish criminals in a prison what are some alternatives mm -hmm. topic is really good i would say uh, guys i would want to invite others as well who can just join and you can share your thought like avya you can join or or maybe maybe others as well even now say rocky bhai if you are there you want to join us you guys can join because more part more participant of course will add more uh, thoughts more points that would come i see anna long time no see see anna are <laughs> nahi i see alternatives if punish as harder as possible <laughs> I see, Anna, but that is not the solution. Do you think a punishment? Uh, sorry, uh, Neha, a punishment that is the only solution. So we would have decreased the crime rate. Hey, Dawn. Hi, Hi Siana. How are you? <laughs> yes, I'm doing well. Fine. What about you? Yeah, well, I'm doing good. I'm good to have you in my LS after a long time. <laughs> long time. But it's been two, three days only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's welcome. Uh, okay, so hey, Agni, Alexa, let's let Hi, Siana. Lisa. And Abhya as well. Abhya, she's in comment, right? Yeah, I asked her to join, but as you know, she's being pricey. Am I yes. audible, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are uh, audible. <clears throat> Uh, let's welcome to I don't know how to sound his name Bauja. Hi Bauja. <laughs> yeah, hello. You know you can call me Jihad better than Bouja. You know, just a nickname. Yeah. No. So Jihad for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are audible. I think. Why do I feel like you are, you sounds familiar to me? I think so. I feel like yeah, me too. You know, because this picture uh, is used by a person whose name Robin, I think. I'm not real. I'm not really sure uh, the name of his. Uh, and uh, now it's a little bit changed. There is a little bit change over here. So yeah, just that, that's why I asked. You know, like uh, by the way, who is speaking? Just to know the host. Yeah, yeah. This so, is yeah. unstoppable. Like this is unstoppable. Now. And I would like to know, like, shall I know about you? Yeah, yeah, of course. So uh, my name is Jihad. You know, uh, by the way, uh, everything in this profile is very fake. So this is the truth. So Jihad from Morocco. I'm 29 years old, and I have been using this application for more than two years. And uh, and I still uh, looking for more improvement. You know, by speaking with people. You know. Yeah, that's all about myself. Nice to meet you all. Where are you from? From Morocco. You are? You are a worker? I'm sorry. What did you say? No, that is what I want to listen from you. What did you say? I I said like <laughs> you asked something. You know, I said like Morocco. Yes, yeah. Morocco, Fish. Morocco. Okay, got you, got yeah. you. Morocco. Okay. You said in a way that I heard uh, you you are a worker. Sorry, my bad. No, no, no. My pronunciation is like the uh, real you know. So so Morocco. Some people they say Morocco, uh, as you said it, but but I prefer my own way. You know how to say it. You know, <laughs> I don't care if it's 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 rules. Or that's it. Just see. Yeah. Somebody is in the market, I guess. I think. Uh, hi, Prish. Hello. Hi, Aman. Okay. Hello. Okay, guys. I think we have good participant over here. Now we can start discussing on this topic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, 
so uh, okay so guys the topic is that is it good idea to pun- to put criminal in a prison what are some alternatives so mm-hmm. so the, the topic that is suggested by bro so what i understand guys see when we say criminal so like we uh, like no there are cert- there are certain crimes some of them they are light some of them they are moderate and some of them they are very serious and for every cra- are guys i don't know but i'm getting uh, background noise from some side i don't know from which side it is it's not from my side for sure yeah, i think you can use everyone. what kind of background you can use uh, aman, you can aman use... is it from your side like uh, what like do you have a running cooler or fan something is it of also... yeah it is of exhaust Okay, so can exhaust <laughs> can yeah, just... i can i can't turn it off i can't do it it's so what can i do <laughs> okay so i would say if you can reduce it, it would be good like if you can find some alternative how to reduce it it is next to my building it is not even from my apartment okay it is next <clears> to <throat> my building your neighbors are too noisy man okay <laughs> so so yeah so guys like no we we are just talking about it so what are some other alternatives so but before alternatives i would like to listen uh, if we are talking about uh, you can say criminals so i would say like i would just want to know guys when somebody say criminal what do you think about it like what what kinds of, what kind of crime that comes in your mind raceless very first thing if i would like to listen you when someone say criminal so what do you think about it Hi, Rasliss. Can you hear uh, me? Is Rocky by Nitish? Yeah, Rocky by is Nitish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are criminal something to do? Come on, come on. Come on. Let me let me let me put some uh, sense over here. You know, like I'm gonna give my opinion. Uh, I'm I'm not sure what what exactly this is about about criminal. What do you say? How do you see criminals? This stuff. The, the, this is the topic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know something? I I just like uh, finished watching a video on YouTube about some 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 kind of criminals uh, people that they do some bad crimes, you know. And you know I have been watching this a lot. You know, it's, not, it's not only just one video that I watch. There are there are a lot of the. videos i watch which means that i i saw some some kind of crimes that happened it wasn't like uh, 100% that, that person is really like a bad or evil person there was like situations that uh, that happened to that person that's why he take the, the disciplinary senses to into another level to maybe kill someone or something there's some situation you cannot just uh, uh, that person that is really a criminal person There are some situation that like like a person that you don't feel like this is a person who could kill the, the, the another one but is actually the, the one who killed you know in a in a bad way you know so in general there, there was like a comment by by me has said something like like all criminals just should... just a minute so pratham like uh, meanwhile you're not speaking pratham just mute no just mute the moment you want to add then you can unmute yourself pratham Ah, uh, Prish, 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 okay. Prish, 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 Prish. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 Mr. Buza, you can go ahead. So, uh, so there was like there was like a comment, uh, uh, like uh, wrote by like Neha. He said something like like uh, all crim- all cri- all criminals, you know, they, they should be like in 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 jail or be judged or something. Yeah, I'm gonna be agree with him, you know, 100%. But but we should know this, you know, like the, the degree, the degree between like uh, like the level of uh, the crime that happened in that situation. So uh, I, you know, if uh, if a person who likes, you know, to watch these kind of things, will 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 say we will his we will change a little bit the idea of uh, uh, crime scenes, people that who did uh, like crimes. 
and uh, it will change everything. For example, I'm, I'm going to give you a, 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 like a short story. There was like a person, two like uh, people, you know, a man and a woman, uh, fall in love. You know, they, they, they lived a beautiful life. The, the first kid was like a huge problem, like a, it was like for them a huge problem because of this financial situation. It was really a, an issue there. So the mother, it seems like, faced some problems with the with the with her husband, and then she decided to kill him. But you know something, the neighbor, the neighbors, uh, they didn't believe that the mother killed the husband. You know, so everyone said that there is no there is no way that two uh, two of them that there is like a, happen between them like a problem and one of them kill each other. You know, kill kill one of them. So until there is like um, like uh, a, a police come and did some uh, how can how can call that in English? I I forgot the words that they they, use, they actually use in this kind of uh, topic. So and uh, at the end of the world, they, they find uh, they, they figure out that there is a mother killed the father, and then it's not only a father. It was like another a, a, a kid killed by her. She was really angry. And people like got shot in their head because of <laughs> because of what's going on. I know we know that that woman she's she cannot kill an ant. You know, it's kind of weird. This, this is impossible. I do not judge people sometimes, but actually she did it. It's okay, a long okay. story, by the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I heard you. Yeah, let's listen to others as well. So, Agni, over to you. Jagni, Agni, like when we say criminals, so what do you think about them? Like, very, what is the first thing that comes in your mind? Criminal means anyone who indulges in criminal activity, unlawful activity, and who indulges in crime. And crime is something which is decided as per the rule of law means crime there are many kind of crimes which is crime here but not crime in some other country so it depends on like definition of crime so this is how we can like figure out who is criminal but if you talk about in general sense then criminal is anybody who is who indulges in criminal activity and like in my opinion there are two i mean I, i'm not an expert of this topic maybe there are many kinds of criminal but overall there are two kind of criminals in my opinion one who indulges in criminal activity because of adverse circumstances or compulsion or because of some very bad situation, he is not criminal by profession, but he is criminal by uh, out of compulsion. For for this kind of criminal, we can rehabilit them. We can rehabilitation is possible for such kind of criminal. We can reform them. But there are another kind of criminal who are criminal by profession, by occupation, and such kind of criminals I don't think can be rehabilitated or. Can be cured. So, for the second kind of criminal, punishment is must, and we must punish them to set an example. Because if somebody is being criminal by profession, by occupation, then what would be the rule of? How about the rule of law? Like no one should be above the rule of law. Mercy is good, but excessive mercy is problematic. So, that's uh, that's how I believe. And uh, I don't want to cite any example because it would be it would get in any convert. Uh, maybe it would uh, go against your uh, code of conduct. But yes. Uh, mostly there are two kind of criminals we can if you are able to rehabit rehabit uh, criminals who are not criminal by profession just because of out of compulsion he indulges in unlawful activity then just uh, be sympathetic for them mercy is good for them but if somebody is criminal by profession for, like terrorist many of them like hafiz Sayyid, so do you think that such person could should deserve any sort of mercy of course not i, I at least i don't believe that such person should like have any sort of mercy so punishment and uh, like these are things which is part of our constitution, our legal system, and should be intacted. It is a nice thing to punish criminal, but it is like we should have flexibility and mercy things. But like mercy is only for those who deserve mercy, not for everyone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, got you. What about you, Raceless? Uh, hi, Raceless. Are you with us? Hello. Hi, Raceless. Hi, Raceless. Okay. So let's listen to Umesh and then uh, to Krish. So, Umesh? Yeah, like a criminal is any person who does some kind of crime which is not like, uh, which is uh, unlawful and 
yeah, it's like uh, it's a good uh, idea that uh, criminals should be put in in the prison. But sometimes, like uh, the circumstances are there, so the uh, the person commits some kind of a crime. But yeah, like uh, there are some alternative also, like. Uh, if they are like uh, it's not a serious crime then uh, the person may be put under like uh, observation of some uh, uh, it's a uh, like in the, in the uh, like any under the observation of some kind of uh, authorities and yeah like the person may be uh, like like uh, maybe uh, treated with some kind of a uh, special Especially any any special thing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, now I would like to listen, Prish. Uh, Hi, Prish. Now you can unmute yourself, Prish. Hi, Prish. Are you fresh? Okay, fresh left. No worries, no worries. So, uh, Raceless, are you with us? Hi, Raceless. No, okay, Raceless is not there. Okay, guys, so what I think about it, like whenever, like, no, when I was a kid, so when I heard this word criminal, so most of the time people either they murder, so they just, you no, know, I just think about that, like, okay, maybe he has done some murder. Or maybe like they, you can say a, a person who who could be the rapist, right? So because rape, it is one of the incident which frequently you can say take place in every part of India. So that gets highlighted in new channels more than murder. So that was one of the, you could say, uh, scenario. So like then I just understood, okay, so maybe the criminal, he could be a rapist or he could be uh, a murderer guy right as jaggu rightly said like some of the cases like when we talk about criminals so it is maybe the heat of anger just because you know, maybe the in the heat of moment things happen and those things you would find maybe due to the property like due to the property or due to uh, you can say uh yeah most of the cases like you know you would find due to property or or maybe there could be some other issues as well so in that cases, ideally they are not criminal, but just in order to prove them like, okay, they are superior or maybe they are not less with anyone. So people go with this. So in that case, uh, they do not have any criminal record, but somewhere they have made a crime. So now uh, they are culprit and they are getting the punishment of it. And as Jaggu mentioned other things as well, like there are some people who do it as a profession, right? I mean. Even they don't even, they know it like before they uh, act on it, they are pretty much sure that this is something unethical. This is something against the law, but uh, they take it. They take in their hand and they just go ahead and they take it as a profession. Even some of them, they charge money, you know, in order to murder someone or in order to do something. Yeah, like if somebody is ideologically criminal, for example, mentally he's criminal. He, whatever he does, he believes that he's right as per his ideology, but the things which he has been doing is extremely, like I would say, offensive. I mean, you can't cure this kind of mentality. You can't change the ideology. Ideology, not in the sense of political ideology. I'm talking about the ideology in sense of crime. For example, if somebody is killing people just because he believes that it gives him pleasure. I mean, there are many psycho cases, psychopaths. So do you believe that such kind of cure? If, if it is curable, that is fine. But not always curable. So deserve punishment. You know, you know something. Uh, I forgot how to say this. Oh my God! I forgot what I want to say. You know, I'm sorry, guys, for interruption. You go ahead, guys. <laughs> Ali, you can say like if you want to add something, you can say that. The problem is that I want to say the idea, but the idea is gone. The criminal killed the idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, and so, uh, you know, um, let, let's talk about real criminals, you know, like, like for example, uh, one person kill another person because there is a, uh, there's a, there is a reason behind it, you know, there's a you know, financial, a financial, there is some, there are a lot of things, a homeless man, you know, like a, a person who had, without house, he was, he's trying you know, to get something, 
is going to steal. Maybe that 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 scene is changing to another thing, which is killing the, that person because there's another person watching that person that is stealing their time. So let's let's speak about we criminals, not the you know the human person like a a person like a a, a, a normal human being doing this. Like there are some people that are doing some kind of criminals, but not speak about it. Like for example. Like um, lawyers, for example, you you are a person that you you didn't do, something, but lawyers trying you know, to dig you in some kind of uh, fraud or something, and then you have to pay for him, you know, just to hide you what you didn't do. So a lawyer is a criminal. You know? that's what I'm talking about. Like I'm not talking about just a normal person. There's some, some specific criminal thing, like something higher than you. Yeah, and also like mercy is good, but if mercy is given to uh, undeserving uh, criminals, then it would cause a dissatisfaction for the people who are victim. For example, I'm victim of someone's aggression, and he has got mercy, even though he's serial offender, and he got mercy from the court, and I didn't get justice. So isn't it dissatis dissatisfactory for me? So it would be dissatisfactory for the victim if you are unnecessarily giving mercy to everybody. So mercy is a good thing, but only for those who deserve. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for there are some comments over here. You know, it's, it's kind of weird. Now, Alexa, Alexa, do you have anything to say to me? Okay. To say it in comment session. Do you want ask? Do you want to ask something to me about my profile profile picture? Are uh, Mr. Booza, don't take it like she's a funny girl. She just uh, sometimes she just, no, I'm just, I'm just crack uh, jokes. Way, you know, I'm asking her. I'm asking her in a funny way. There is another person to also is uh, trying to say it in a funny way too. So let's have fun all. You know. So if you have anything, you know, to ask it and you care about just picture, this is really stupidity. You know, mm -hmm. care about something else, care about the topic, and do not care about like stupid picture that I'm putting over there. This is really stupid. Are as I said, do not take in that way, like because uh, then uh, it would go in a different direction. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just telling again. I'm just telling. It's just like kind of spirit, you know, to just care about picture, but uh, guys, you know, it's just a picture. No one here is real. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. saying everyone, but it seems like 17. No one is uh, real. You know. See me in real life, then you're gonna you're gonna judge me. Oh. Breathe out, breathe in. <laughs> oh, like me. Oh. Yeah. So I would say, like, Buddha, don't take it in another way. Just enjoy the conversation. Uh, otherwise, it will go in a different direction. Okay. Hi, Akanksha. Hi, Rohan. Yeah. So, Akanksha, how are you? I'm good, Rohan. How are you? Yeah, doing well. So, uh, Kansha, we are talking about criminals. Like, what are the other alternative <clears throat> way to, you can say, no, to, to improve them? So, I would like to listen to you as well because you have recently joined. So, what do you think? Like, do we have any other way to deal with criminals or the way the law or the procedure which we have that is the only way to deal with that? And even we are talking about criminals. So, do you want to share any any anecdote, any story where you have seen a person who wasn't criminal, but maybe due to the demand of time, he became criminal, or you could say maybe since childhood he had a criminal mindset, and then anything? <clears throat> one time, uh, I saw one thing that there were two boys, both were above 18, and. Uh, one boy's father had gun and it's about my neighborhood story one boy's father had gun his father had gone outside and then what that boy did he called his friend to show the gun to uh, his friend and they were just doing uh, they would be like playing i mean not playing they would be checking the gun and uh, so one would be snatching no no give it to me don't uh, it will fire or something uh, what happened uh, that uh, gun got fired and it hit him on the head 
and that boy good uh, he good died he died and after that uh, after that and after that uh, the other boy <clears throat> i was uh, in 8th 9th class something like this other boy is still in prison and uh, his uh, like he he will be there for more years so i don't know he got the right punishment or wrong punishment uh, because his intentions were not to kill him Mm-hmm. But this happened accidentally, and he also couldn't prove it. And like he was in uh, like twenty or something, but now he is like thirty or about to get thirty. His old, uh, his young age is gone. What is left with his life? Okay. but i also feel like uh, uh, it is good uh, uh, we feel like that uh, we should know uh, at the end everyone is a human being everyone is feeling they repent after the crime has been done but you know it uh, if we won't put them in jail in prison then other people would not have any fear and they will be doing it more of they will be doing the crime because they will feel like we are not going to get punished uh, so if some lighter punishment would be given to them they would be ha- okay in doing the crime and they will be like we can um, bear the light punishments so in that sense it is important to give the prison prison okay mm-hmm. got it and as akantha said guys like you no know, see different uh, you could say uh, different like people even though like one of the i'd say research i would like to share with you so mm-hmm. i think you are aware like uh, in 2000 i think if i'm not wrong so it was somewhere uh, i think you all are aware with the nirbhaya case right which happened uh, in in delhi right 2012 yeah Yeah, in 2012. So in Nirbhaya case, what has happened? So there was a one of the reporter. You can say researcher or reporter. Her name was Madhum Madhumita Pandey, right? So Madhumita Pandey. She interviewed 142 rapists, right? She just took a permission to go into the Tihar jail, and she took an interview of 142 rapists just to know what is their mindset, you know, before like when they just did it. So what was their mindset? Why did they do that? Mm-hmm. and even most of them you could say even though they did not believe it that they have done something like you no know, that is considered as a rape some of them they said like it was just uh, due to anger like maybe uh, in a neighborhood there was some uh, you can say some uh, no some fuss so it was just to take the revenge they did it like different you could say in that survey different criminal they said different different things but most of them they did not realize that like uh, because that was as i said that was the heat of the moment and after that like even they they were not ready to accept it like they what they have done that is considered as a rape yeah they so, wasn't even aware that whatever he is doing is rape right right they they wasn't aware so now like they have a great guilty as well because what they have done and later they understood this is considered as a this is one of the heinous crimes so later they are repenting on it so you can read out those you, you can say article as well as i said madhumita pandey right she was the scholar who did research on that where she took an interview of 142 rapists so sometime even though the rapists like they don't know what they are doing so even some of the some of the you could say uh, rapists like you no know, their mindset that was totally different you would say even if you would listen those you can say uh, uh, thoughts you would be really shocked right like one of the rapists he said like why did i rape her so that she can never get married by any other man why just because of some you can say some uh, enmity right just because they were neighbor and there was some uh, land dispute and because of that he did so that his he and his family they can whole like the whole family can suffer throughout their life mm-hmm. yeah 
uh, and but most of them they they were they really felt like it was their fault and uh, the but they did not do no intentionally you could say like uh, even if they haven't committed this intentionally and they was not even aware of what they are doing is rape still i don't think they deserve any sympathy because what about the justice then what about the justice for victim who is victim like what would you answer to the victim who is victim just because he was not aware of the things that this is rape does like he deserves sympathy or mercy then you have to also look at the perspective of victim who is victim how how would you say, like specify the victim what would you answer the victim so this is also a very strange question so and not all rapists are like that only if some of the rapists who are maybe less in terms of ease they may be not aware of the things but rape is something most of the rapists also make excuse to apologize to get some uh, to get mercy but these are this could be the excuses as well mm-hmm. yeah but i have also seen one uh, documentaries over the mindset of rapist uh, it was a national geography channel it was not an uh, based on indian rapist that was based on european rapist and american rapist they, they have interviewed many and they have also given the same uh, i would say after uh, same result like many of them are like psychologically their their mindset has been designed the way they they was not even aware of the things that they are doing is rape or what so there are such cases but even on that basis, is like it's very hard to sympathize for them like because you will not you will have no answer to the victim so it's very uh, strange thing and uh, like last year you were talking about nirbhaya case you know uh, in 2021 no 20 i guess 2020 uh, four uh, four of the rapist who got capital punishment from supreme court and what even did even wrote in letter to indian government to like halt down the capital punishment so you even human rights was active to save those four rapist and i was like shocked the I, i i'm not criticizing you and maybe they are wrong uh, or right up to their extent but like even un was like <laughs> un was active to save those rapist who raped nirbhaya the most famous rape case in the world so just because even also believe in this theory that psychology and all these was he was not aware of that and these so it's it's very hard to say what's going but i i don't believe that they should be given also, also we say that uh, what has happened uh, we should leave it behind and we should, uh, what if someone has done bad to us then what is it uh, going to give it give us back if we will uh, like try to take revenge or like we will try to do bad for them but you know if something bad has happened to anyone um, like uh, we can take the example of nirbhaya case her mother fought for like so many years like about 10 years she fought because it gives them the feeling of satisfaction that they are able to put the criminals uh, who did this wrong to uh, one of the member of the family they are behind the bars they now got what they deserve so it gives them self self satisfaction that they are not living freely yeah yeah so let's welcome to dr priyanka hi dr priyanka <laughs> Yeah, hi you don't have to call me doctor bengal <laughs> okay and as I'll i said you. like uh, sometimes my opinions that was not my opinion as i said like you can search on the youtube as well madhumita pande so she was the one who took an interview of 142 rapist in the tihar jail yeah and, that was fact not opinion yeah. right so uh, that is a fact right and you would find like you certain you need facts you know to support your uh, you know whatever you think or Whatever no i see you, okay. like thing is that like what do you mean like what i support he hasn't even made his opinion yet <laughs> he was no, just telling no in a comment section actually she was saying so priyanka i would like to listen you like uh, what do you think about this and i mean if you are saying some people you know who are like rapists and all they have some disturbed mindset and all so i think if such people have a disturbed mindset you know they should be behind the bar, bars or they should be dead if you say like okay this murderer is like psychiatric you know patient or he is ill and all those things so you will allow him okay that he is killing people you will not na they should be put behind bars so they should not harm anyone so same thing should be done to rapist or you know why don't we treat them like that and means how can you reverse the damage which has been done that if you are talking about the neighbor case only the girl is dead you know how will you 
you know this all this from their means her family you know how they feel you know we people forget but it's about the family they will never forget because they have to live with it and they will you know always miss their girl so you can't say that okay that they had some you know they didn't know or maybe they were drunk you know sometimes guys also do uh, that you know they are drunk and they can you know misbehave with any girl I mean, I tell you, I'll give you one example. You know, we means we went out for dinner. Okay, it was not very late. Okay, mm -hmm. so means it was around ten only. You know, and we were coming back, and there were some guys who were drunk. And what did he do? Uh, we three or four girls were there, and he slapped one of my friends. You know, on her bums. Okay, and he went, and we were like, you know, what what is this nonsense? He's like, I'm just like this. I'm just like this. I'm just like this. I'm just like this. He was drunk and all. Means that does not mean, na, you can misbehave with girls. So you know, see his bad luck that it was happening in front of a police station. Okay, and police wala was just seeing it, and he just you know caught that guy and usko itna pada hi pada na like, hmm, really, miss, miss. You can't you can't justify na because that you are drunk or maybe your mind is messed up, so you can harm anyone. This is really. I I too really don't agree. If you are harming anyone, do you don't have any right to you know stay out. You know you should be behind the bars or you should be. If you are because of you someone has died, then you should be, you know maybe given punishment as per the rules. Yeah. I mean I don't know what Madhu Mita or but that was fine. But you know what was the purpose no, of? But but for sometimes all... see people want to know what is the psychology behind it. Like see if a person is doing like you know. then what is the point to put the law because people doesn't care about the law right still cases are happening people are being killed people are being raped then what is the point to put law and what is the point to then no to because end of the day until unless you won't know then how would you just educate them like the people who are doing this how would you educate them and how would you I stop it people who have done this you know so they should be i feel at least punishment should be a little bit rigorous you know it's not about earlier it was you know 7 years jail i don't know about that when i read my forensic medicine at that time it was 370 na it is 375 i guess if i am remembering fine 375 is definition of rape and 376 is punishment of rape okay means when i read this in my forensic medicine so it was maximum of 7 years jail that's it means and i don't know in this is the maximum punishment i don't know like how my, how how are the judgments what is what i am telling okay okay uh, rocky bhai is with us yeah let's yes, welcome, welcome to rocky bhai hi rocky bhai hi rocky bhai rocky bhai hi rocky <laughs> i guess he is he is another jessie are rocky bhai just uh, if you want to speak on this topic we would love to listen you because okay okay okay, okay. <laughs> no worries take your time so uh, then priyanka like then uh, what are some other alternatives according to you do you think there's a alternative or just I mean, you... if i see you know if i really suggest you know to I means we should first of all I means you know we should educate our boys or maybe all you know because okay i'll be mother okay And of course, you all will be parents. Of course, it will take a long time, but still, you know, we should teach them. You know that girls deserve that much respect, and you know you can't force. Miss, this is the one. But of course, it will take long time. I don't know. We will die also at that time. Okay. And rest, I can say, you know, for girls, it is safety for you only. You know, for till this world changes. You know, of course, you have to take care of yourself. and boys also you know if you find you should help them and of course vigorous means the rigorous punishment you know and maybe we should not judge the girl or whatever was happening sometimes you see i don't know see sometimes that people you know don't very judge girls and everything they like they report sexual assaults and all those things uh, even some are very embarrassed to tell them to their parents or their maybe to report in the police that should be encouraged you know and okay i agree with you you know i maybe i just um, i don't know that if i see in that point that maybe she was trying to see like what was behind it so we can you know 
find the root cause and maybe we try to you know maybe mitigate that problem or something like that but i don't know what is happening or what what is being done for that maybe i in that way you can say okay like knowing or interviewing those rapists that you know if we know the cause you know if this is the cause okay so maybe i don't know but if someone has done the rape i don't think <laughs> he should be you know left and he should be you know out or he should always be punished but how can you know that someone can do rape and how will you know hey rohan will you know i know like how how could you know that like see ha I means is... how could you know that and you know then if you know that what do you want to do I means he has already done it <laughs> I means like who will be the person you know, will find that, even 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 hmm. murder happen have you seen like in a very uh, like how in a very short spam you would see a guy he just killed that and that guy and he died on the spot right so even you you like before you think the incident you don't would... know na yeah even why don't you think that for murderers also why don't you you know take the uh, interview of maybe murderers jo murderers hote hain unka bhi interview ja ke lo and then see you uh, know see see the there are certain people from the psychology background they just want to understand the mindset because post that then what would happen then they, they they would do the research on it maybe then they would publish something and then maybe there was there would be a way to re, re that's re, what i'm saying now that re, like uh-huh. like uh, such research has been have been done on matter as well okay okay let's discuss rohan what will be the target population like we will educate we will okay if i find a solution okay this is the solution then we can i can change rapist or something like that and you know how what is the target audience for that or target population for that you know target could mm-hmm. be maybe that would be the part of curriculum like this the education curriculum like maybe uh, they would be uh, they would be taught uh, no in yeah, maybe, their... maybe that can be but you cannot you don't know na like you how can you judge like no yeah, like it these some of people were married you know they had wives i am telling about uh, this nirbhaya case one of guy was married his wife was this you know i don't i don't know that ever his wife has imagined that you know her husband will do things like that i don't know this yeah. is very complicated yaar but this is bad you know you can't really means if you are harming someone and you know physically or sexually assaulting someone really really bad hmm. like uh, i would like to add one thing if you ask will the death penalty will eradicate all the rape incidents in india of course not but if you ask will the death penalty will prevail justice then i would say of course it will prevail the justice so yeah, no mercy for will, no mercy yeah, for rapist uh, and it will you know of course means if we have a regress punishment even you know in what do they do in you know islamic proper sharia law you know they cut hands of those who are beggars they, you know strict are very uh, like they, those laws are not are something strict. which i should appreciate those no, are very... i don't appreciate i am just giving an example i am not telling you to but mm-hmm. i am telling that if the punishment is very regress you know so then you think before doing it exactly. you know ha uh, maybe that can be that can play means a little part but yes we have to do a lot in this i don't know i to say to girls you know just be careful i don't know what to do even i am also confused what is the proper solution for that hmm. and sometime like uh, i would say like when we talk about a human life is too long right like it is expected that at least you would live from 65 to 70 years too so long it, it is too listen, short listen, listen listen if a person commit a crime if a person commit a crime uh, you can say in the heat of moment so shouldn't he just shouldn't he get a, a chance to to improve himself or herself it depends on the level of crime he has done if he has ruined the uh, if he has ruined a life then he should not have rights on his own life but he like, i feel people yeah people yeah. don't change it means grossly they don't change that like understand what i should. yes yes purple i like see see purple sometime like what happens suppose in my ls if you shouted then next day you yourself realize it was i uh, know actually yeah, uh, i then, i made a mistake no, there is network uh, issue but you will yeah, shout so. again there is a network issue i guess hello are no 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 i'm not so saying like network month. issue i'm telling i'm you. saying like but 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 people think about it then they said like oh it was my bad i made the mistake but uh, going forward i would not repeat it again uh-huh, so but 
but i am telling you like you know that story is there even in that movie you must have seen darling movie that bichu hai wo kaatta hai that is a basic nature you will return to it how much you will fight yourself yaar means i don't know this is my perception you know maybe you may change you maybe you may change little bit but i don't think people change i don't know yaar maybe i i may be wrong rohan but this is my opinion hey, even i don't know because i'm not a law you can say it's student hmm. neither like we are have done any kind of judiciary hmm. study so that hmm. we have studied about it we are just hmm. here to discuss the topic we can improve and at the same time we can spread the awareness as well right so hmm. even i don't know but i just want to listen like you guys yeah, it's good because to know let me tell you let me tell you hmm. i i would say like very small thing i would say sometimes if i have done something not in a criminal way something then later i regret on myself like no so going forward i would not do those i would not do so no it's okay i am also human being i can make the mistakes right so but i it would not be repeated again so in that context like maybe he, some of them like they have done but later maybe like let, let me tell you like what uh, uh, just try to understand please what i want to say Mm-hmm. most of the guys you would say like they are they are their early age maybe 21 22 or 8 no 20 24 25 25. so just because they have a bad company or maybe some of the friends some of their friends they have encouraged them right it's okay you know if she's your girlfriend you can do this that you can be forceful to her or something right so like those maybe at the tender is like they cannot take the right decision and they think okay so what is wrong in that because one of the friend maybe he would quote an example i have done that so why can't you do so so something what happen people get you no know, encouraged and they commit the crime and later then they repent a lot on it like why did i do that am i stupid just because others they encouraged me i did that right i hope you understand what i want to say but mm-hmm. just for that if like the person is being killed or he is you know being hanged so i don't know like i'm just trying to understand like should a person get another chance or not as jaggu said of course if it is a animal mindset like you know if you like there are certain cases where you see like uh, they are raped and they are butchered they are their body has been you no know, you can say grilled uh, many things they have done right so in that case i understand then that person even though he has a animal mindset mm-hmm. um means Okay, so Rocky bhai is saying, give me ten minutes. So you know, give ten minutes to him. Ten yeah, minutes is still a bit still. Yeah, o- over. I think his ten minutes is already over. So Rocky bhai, would you like to say something on this? Hello. Salam, Rocky bhai. It's a very famous song in that movie. Who is Rocky bhai? Is this the new person? Who is this? Yeah. Rocky bhai listen even we want to listen who is Rocky bhai yeah, we all are very curious to know Rocky bhai how are you hi falguni i'm good hi falguni so hi falguni hi falguni, hi, falguni. Hi, falguni. Hi, falguni. welcome back hey, hey guys like we have very good participant to listen her thought falguni you are a psychology student so you read the human psychology so what mm-hmm. do you think like when we talk about criminals so do they have like different psychology and on the basis of that they commit the crime is there you know some... according to psychology uh, like if someone turns out to be a criminal their upbringing is to be blamed the way that they are brought up like psychology blames the uh, the blames the environment that they have brought up in you know <laughs> mhm okay good yeah so i think uh, i think this is the only thing that is to be blamed how they have been brought up Uh, rohan you know i i just you know okay i'm going to message you right now just a sec just, just check my message okay yes okay, you guys can carry on whatever you guys were saying i'm going to message you like uh, i would like to add one more thing it's it's always good to know the psychological aspects of rape cases so that like you know the you need to know the mentality of rapist that's good thing to figure out the psychological solution if there is possible so it's good to know the mentality to know the psyche of that person to figure out a psychological solution but psychological thing psychological aspect should not be used as an excuse or as a shield to protect that rapist just because of the psychology he should not have a shield to protect himself so like this thing i would like to add anyway okay cool cool so uh, yeah rocky would you like to share something on this because as you know that we are not a law student but still we are talking about this topic 
so if you can add something like which you think Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Hrithesh is mentioning one incident. Just two days ago, there was a guy in in Jharkhand. He literally burned a girl alive after raping her. Also, there was some religious reason which I would not like to mention. But like that guy was, I guess his name was Muhammad Saruk, and he literally burned that girl alive after raping her. I mean, and do you think that such kind of rapist and criminal should have any mercy, right? I mean, it's very even. It's even hard to imagine for me. yeah like uh, jaggu as i said like see if any case like no any criminal case where i think there are some you can say they have set some bar if those cases cross those bars so in that case they consider as a gruesome case right like very heinous and gruesome case so in that case of course like they have the very strict law and law always you can say you know give justice to the victim yeah. even in udaipur case like the murderer literally uploaded the video on social media and he was feeling proud after killing innocent trailer so like i can't even imagine mercy things for such kind of criminals so yeah so yeah rocky you can take your 2 minutes rocky no worries like we are okay we are so yeah umesh i would like to do you want to say something umesh and like when guys like people say rehabilitation so in rehabilitation uh, so jab rehabilitation ah uh, yeah you are audible yeah i am so hello hello everyone hi <laughs> hello. hi rocky bhai yeah yeah hello so the topic is with this thing right okay so like for me um whether capital punishment will act as a deterrent or not that's something that thing i think it will not act as a deterrent because to be honest capital punishment doesn't act as a incentive i mean uh, you know for for rapists because on the on the contrary it might act another way the impact would be another way for example if you say that you know if a rape if a rape has happened then you will get capital punishment right if that is a if that is a discourse if that is a law then what will happen is instead of trying to trying to understand the minds of the rapists the rapists will definitely do rapes you know that is their mindset you know they're like mad dogs they'll do it but what will happen is because there's a law put in place the rapist uh, instead of like uh, trying to not do rape what they'll do is like try to kill the victim itself you know in 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 this kind of case because right now they are aware of the fact that if you do the rape then you will get the capital punishment so what they'll do is they'll do the rape at the same time they'll try to kill the kill the victim as well so that is a dangerous uh, precedent that 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 we should understand so that is the reason i i am always of the opinion that you know when you sort of make the laws you have to understand why you have made the law in the first place so now we have the capital punishment okay everyone is fine with that but what will happen is at the same time you are raping the, the rapist will rape the person and they'll kill the person as well because if you see the standards of a criminal law uh, the criminal law says that beyond reasonable doubt if the case is proved then only the person can be convicted otherwise he is acquitted so most of the cases even though the police somehow managed them to uh, you know put behind them the put them behind the bars but still they go scot free because there is no evidence because our standards are like that the criminal law is like that that beyond reasonable doubt only you can be acquitted only you can be convicted otherwise you are acquitted so that is the major thing that we have to understand so before you actually frame this loss see for example in nearby as incident uh, there was cc with the help of cctvs and all that they managed to find the evidence the evidence was there even for example even if those cc tem- cc cameras were not there but even the victim she could have given some sketches like you know how the people looked like and all that so based on that they could have managed to convict them but for example but if the victim was killed if the nearby was killed at that point in time itself then they would have just gone scot free in if if the cc cameras were not there in case if the cameras were not there they would have been scot free so what i'm trying to say is whenever any laws put in place you have to understand the consequence of it so what we have to understand is like why rapes happen in the first place instead of trying to fix it we have to understand like why rapes happen in the first place and trying to find solutions to that rather than uh, you know um, you know coming up with this capital punishment and all that 
so i think that will never act as a deterrent because why rapes happen why the instincts make them to do those things is beyond uh, our natural understanding you know it's like that that's what i said in the beginning so rapists are like mad dogs they'll do it no matter what is the punishment out there because they'll find alternative to it for example if you say there's capital punishment he'll try to he'll go to that he'll kill the body he'll, he'll do the rape and he'll kill the body he'll kill the victim also so somehow he thinks that i'll be scot free i'll know one will no one will find me so he is safe so the point is it is not about the punishment it is about the mindset so that needs to be uh, that sh- that needs to be understood so how you can understand is uh, is is only one thing uh, in my opinion is when the rapes happen of course what you have to do is you have to separate them from the society because as i've said earlier they like mad dogs okay you have to separate them separate them from the society and what we have to do is we have to do an interview you know with a psychologist and it should be televised across the country you know so that the people can watch their mindsets like you know why they do this and what are their thoughts what will be their behavior you know what they think of a woman uh, you know uh, so these all things they should every person should watch it so that whenever they come across this kind of people at least the people will be aware of it and uh, another main thing is from childhood only as someone mentioned that you know just have to the education you know people should be aware of their rights you know from uh, education is very important so i think from initial ages in the childhood age itself i think everyone should be aware of all these things you should make people understand or the children understand they should be sensible about all these things so then these things can uh, reduce otherwise it will not happen for sure and someone was saying that you know uh, whenever this rape incident happens all everyone will come to the streets and everyone everyone blood will rise but after some time everyone will go to their own jobs and all that everyone will forget but that's not the solution everyone will say kill them castrate their uh, private parts and all that but you know india is a democratic country man like it's not barbaric country we can't go yeah. backwards you know you can say you can give examples of saudi arabia so hota hai so hota hai but that doesn't work in india it's a democratic country for god's sake we have laws put in place we have a lot of things you know uh, where you know our, our our judiciary system is based on one thing that not even one uh, there is one line of forgot like you know uh, in thousand criminals can go scot free but innocent should not get uh, you know convicted that punished. is the premise yeah, yeah. Uh, punished yeah, exactly that that is the whole premise of our uh, judiciary so in in some cases what happens is see now uh, in hyderabad this incident happened so when the rape incident happened in hyderabad i think two years back i guess so all the emotion like in it was total at peaks you know the whole the encounter uh, one yeah encounter one so all mm-hmm. most of the people in hyderabad they came to the streets and protested uh, in front of the police station and all that so police at that point in time they didn't know how to react to it so what they did somehow they sort of collected four people i don't know whether they are criminals or not even the fair trial was not happened they were denied yeah. the fair trial you don't know whether they are rapist or not you just what four people you encountered them and you said that okay these are the four people who raped the girl but do you really know that whether they raped you don't know but just to appease to the people just to control that emotional uh, peaks you just took the decision so this these are the uh, the side effects of you know having a capital punishment or any other thing so the problem is we are not solving the problem we are trying to cool down it we are trying to uh, act, uh, like try to relieve the that uh, the tension that's it after some time again the same thing will happen yeah because uh criminals or anyone for that matter they'll try to find ways to solve that problem so my point is mindset is very important if you can tweak the mindset then everything will be good yeah but but rafi bhai sometimes like people think it was a good message to the society like as as you say like no if i talk about that hyderabad case so they made an counter so the moment it happens so maybe it is a message to all of those rapists or the people who have the mindset if we would do so maybe we would also go with the encounter like one of the example no, no. Like other, uh, let me quote one of the other example like if I, it doesn't if I, happen before that uh, maybe this nirbhaya victim they were hanged i guess maybe i don't know but i do really think like someone who is yeah, yeah. exactly after one month the section yeah. something like that and I, i'll get punished if i am doing this thing so while doing such heinous crimes no one will think that there is a particular section through which i i'll get convicted like, and then i'll like, get hanged like one more example i would like to quote like uh, if i talk about up so in up you know like uh, yogi adityanath sometimes people call him bulldozer baba right 
why because like he has claimed that anyone who is just you no know, uh, destroy the public property so it would be recovered from their own property and even his own property that would be demolished by the you could say uh, that jcb machine right so that is what is happening and he has done a lot like you can say most of the criminals like you no know, whosoever have done that so they uh, he is doing and there is a terror he has developed a terror among the people like you know people they are really uh, you can say scared like if i would do something maybe i am going to lose my whole property so by that way like he is decreasing the crime and people have a fear among them so however some of them they have said like let the court decide like what would be the punishment how a chief minister can decide that no their house that would be demolished the moment you would be you would be caught in some illegal stuff right uh, maybe stone pelting or maybe uh, some you can say uh, no slogan against this and that so like uh, one one yeah. thing i would like to say like capital punishment can not uh, work as deterrent this is absolutely right i agree with that but capital punishment can like capital punishment give a sense of uh, sense of justice for the victim in my opinion maybe i'm wrong and like second thing what about like ruthless criminals like two days ago uh, in jharkhand a girl was raped and burned alive and the guy who did so he was literally laughing in the police station or one month ago two men a tailor was killed by two men in udaipur and he literally uploaded video and he was feeling proud after doing so so how about this kind of thing like do you think that this kind of criminal should should have the right of mercy or like that no that's what i'm saying right see when you have capital punishment put in place um, like some people will find a way to sort of you know as you've rightly said that you know he burned the body so that's what they do they try to eliminate the the victim itself so in most of the cases you know because they know for sure that you know if i get caught then i'll be behind the bars and my life is finished so they'll do this kind of, they'll resort to these kind of things so so and one more thing i forgot to say like you know in most of the rape cases in india like you know are done by people who are close to the victim you know for example most of them you know we don't understand this At we sort of see know, only the yeah. the only sensational cases we think that you know okay this rapes happened but on the contrary most of the rapes are not even reported also why because it is done by the own family members uncles you know some old guys you know who do this kind of things and what if you have law put in place tell me any victim will go to the police station and report it definitely they'll not report it because they know for sure that it will loom large and you know society their their image will sort of take a back seat and they'll never think of reporting it to the uh, reporting it to the police in the first place itself so this 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 thing this this may also pay the way for that but not reporting as well because most of the rape cases are done by the uh, uh, by the close family members you know they are the ones who do it <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. okay so yeah so like prish or do you like to say something Krish, Ma, Aman. Mm, yeah, about what? About this topic, like we are talking about criminals, and do do you think that there could be some alternative way to deal with them, or not to giving mm. them? I don't think there is a there is way, but like I don't have a strong opinion about this. Uh, but I can say there like there are two things, there are two schools, like maybe two, more than two. But what I know, like uh, there is one thing, like retributive justice, which is which says that if something someone is committed the crime, then he should get uh, he should get punished in the same way. Like if someone killed, uh, then he should he should got get killed by the state. and which is kind of an i for an i kind of justice and the second one is restorative justice so it is like more humanitarian that it uh, it aims to uh, that to give reparation to the families or to rehabilitate the criminal in the way like suppose if someone committed the crime so he so uh, so he will be punished like he should live with that person who uh, against whom like who was the victim this is very ideal i don't think it is possible at to a large extent maybe it is it is possible in like very small crimes but uh, say, i guess sometimes the punishment is also necessary but i i am i don't think like this uh, capital punishment is uh, a way that which we can through which we can eliminate the uh, the the crime and moreover it is seen that like i am not able to recollect the actual statistics but somewhere i just read that like it was the statistics from 1990s uh, like with the education so it was like uh, the the murder behind uh, 
टेन लैख पीपल और टेन मर्डर बिहाइंड इच टेन लैख पीपल इन इंडिया सो विथ एजुकेशन दिस थिंग्स विल जस्ट गो अवे और एटलीस्ट इट विल डिक्रीज सो but it is like long term solution when people they are educated they will uh, they will less indulged in these crimes like murder or some heinous crimes and if i talk about the rest so whatever nitish said i completely agree with it like uh, even like this there is one i guess kavita krishnan or something she is a, a, a social activist or something she also said the same thing like when there is a capital punishment for the rape so it is Uh, the more probably the criminal or the someone who is rapist it is more possible that that uh, that rapist will kill that person outrightly because he will think that if he uh, if that person is alive then he might report me and then i'll get punished and better if i get rid of her body by burning or throwing her some in canal so i will get just i will not uh, get caught by the police all ah, right right like you rightly said yeah it is a kind of mindset because everyone wants to save their life right the moment they know like if uh, the girl after you know after the incident if she would report it so maybe then i am going to lose and moreover yeah. you cannot say this thing as well like uh, when you are saying that this is giving a precedent or making like not precedent is it this things like uh, whatever you said bulldozer or some things like encounter it will you said it will make terror but uh maybe i'm sounding sounding academic but like our uh, system of democracy is based on this all these things like if the judiciary function is performed by the executive which is the state or the police then what is point in having judiciary at all mm-hmm. so it yeah. will uh, yeah it will uh, dilute the complete institution of judiciary then people will uh, then it will be like the kind of system of king and queen then, then the, the absolute power will be then the pow- absolute power will be in the hand of uh, the people who are in executive so there will be chaos i guess so that's why like uh, they say this thing like the, the this thing three things should be separated they should not interfere but like my question was what about those criminals who even after raping killing and burning they have no regret they put videos on social media as a proud and like how would you how how can we treat these kind of criminals you just have to separate them from the society that's it i mean uh, you just have mm-hmm. to make sure that the evidence is there and uh, that is the role of the executive the role of executive is make sure that the evidence is collected and given to the judiciary so that the, it is submitted that's the only job they have to do apart from that they have nothing to do else so all you have to do is like make sure that the evidence is proper and uh, during the in- investigation nothing is like you know blown out of the proportion or you know just just have to make sure that the the whole entire uh, thing is done in a correct way so that the evidence is collected and make sure that these guys are never again introduced in society as i've said they're like mad virus they're like mad yeah. dogs so you don't have to introduce into the society again so just separate them from the society and what happens after that is something it depends on the spirit of our democracy itself yeah so what do you mean by separate them from the society isn't it like life imprisonment yeah like maybe whatever it is i uh, like you know that 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 should be the law that that uh, yeah, that yeah, law will be properly the yeah. law yeah it yeah. Not, it should yeah, not be it. done by the like the police in court in countering or jcb is uh, like demolishing building this kind of politics yeah, yeah yeah this kind that's of politics justice should not be in a democratic country but by law we should have a strong like a strong punishment for those who are psychologically at this kind of ruthless criminal yeah. by law but of course by not by politicians by not by like police and all this yeah and uh, i guess uh, maybe you have heard this thing as well that bill kiss banu case uh, i don't know like if judiciary gave that sentence but like whatever i read so it was the gujarat government which mm. released those criminals so so which is being talked in like in recent days so and like maybe instead of like a uh, capital punishment there might be a provision that rigorous imprisonment for life so at least that person can suffer like what he yeah, has suffered yeah like yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah but exactly. at, and uh, this capital punishment is like one time like though that person is dying but it is like uh, uh, you are just setting him free maybe like you are killing him but it is like one time justice like you are not making him realize like what kind of crime he had done hmm yeah
Mm-hmm. And and uh, like again, guys, so there was one more question, and the question was that what if like if something happens just out of you can say in the heat of moment or in the heat of anger, although nothing was planned, nothing as a mindset, but something happened. So in that case, mm-hmm. like still people uh, like people L- like what something happened. Yeah, inside some cases, sort of situations. Identity. Yeah, like there are certain situations where even though the person he doesn't have a criminal mindset. But just he got triggered and things happened, right? No, no. How can things could be like like if you are doing this kind of crime, then there is no point in justifying this that things were not things were good, but he just got triggered because of something. So it is like that Mul Mulayam Singh once said that, but uh, ladki hai galti hai. It is you should yeah. not tolerate this kind of things. Yeah, like this but heat of the moment, so- things cannot be applied on rapist. <laughs> No, like I didn't get you my question. My question is that, like, uh, I would say, if I talk about in rural area, so sometimes murder happens, or no, uh, over the land dispute. Maybe there's something, yeah. like something is happening, and somebody came up and like they not justifiable into, at all. Yeah, they got into the argument, and argument turns, you know, so heated, and somebody had any sharp object, and he, maybe he cut the head with that okay. object, right? Right, or maybe something like he done. He did. However, if you see the records, nothing was nothing has like nothing was as such, right? So that was the heat of the moment, right? So in that case, like then how would you what would you say like that person deserve to have? Yeah, yeah, capital? yeah. Th- there's one provision, man. Of there's course. one provision in constitution. You might be aware of this uh, cricketer, right? Siddhu, uh, Navjot Singh Siddhu, I guess. Mm-hmm. Now he's serving the term, I guess, mm-hmm. in the jail. So that crime which he did was in the heat of the moment itself. Yeah. Uh, I, I forgot the name. There's one concept. So it is a crime of passion or something else. I forgot the the. I think they are interchangeably used. I don't know the difference b- between both of them. Crime of passion and crime of something else. I forgot. So you can search it on Google. So you'll get it. So yeah, in the heat of the moments, but you have to establish it whether it was done in the heat of the moment or not. So I think it takes a lot of effort, and you know you have to hire the good lawyers and all that. So only the rich can afford. <laughs> Otherwise, the poor can never establish that you know, it was done in the heat of the moment. So you have laws put in place, you know, in the heat of the moment crimes, the the term of punishment will be less, less than five years. I think he has got punishment for two years, I guess, two years or three years, I guess. Yeah. What was his crime? I'm not aware of this case. I think uh, he sort of killed the guy on the highway. You know, someone blocked his weave, blocked his car, and you know, in the heat of the moment, he took the sword or uh, I think his own pistol, and he fired at the person. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what, what happens here? You, like, uh, suppose. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So what happens here is no, no, like, I'm, for I'm example, even the shot also. For example, if he if he says that the at the crime of the scene, the investigation officer will always give the details and all that, right, in the report. So they'll give the report like you know mm-hmm. what were the what at what height that the the shot uh, at ha- what height did he shot the bullet and all that. So that report will be there. So that will establish whether it was done on the passion or whether it was done due to the heat of the moment and all that. So the post mortem report is also very important. Because the doctor will give the report like, uh, did uh, they, it was done by a professional or it was done by a, a person who was like you know just triggered? Yeah, that that can be established. Proper invest investigation. Proper investigation. Yeah, the postmortem report is also very important. But I forgot like you know you can search it on Google. Okay. And like Bruce is putting a question to all of us. Like, have you guys watched Joker movie? When Arthur was being beaten by those guys yeah, I in the train, and he got triggered and shoot those guys. In that sort of situation, is there then like what to do? Arthur is psycho in that movie, so for psycho, it's very hard to decide. <laughs> like yeah, psycho killers are... can be justified. You, yeah. you are literally killing a person, so no. I don't think like though it is maybe there is provision in the law, but don't you think like even if there is a heat of moment, so still you are person like you are human and when you are killing someone, so you should be at least you are conscious of doing like you you are conscious of what you are doing. So exactly, punishment yeah. should be there. there. Yeah, punishment is there, right? That is that is why he's serving the punishment. I think we got the punishment. So, so but the I'm but the fears. Yes. So Aman, you are saying like if uh, you are conscious, so like in that case, uh, like you you deserve to have the punishment. And what if if a person is unconscious, like I would say, sometimes I have seen.
especially i don't know in, maybe in your area that would have happened but especially in up and bihar if there's a marriage event mm-hmm. in marriage event like you would find some of confiding ha uh, some of the bahubalis mm-hmm. they would come up just to join the party they would be drunk <laughs> and then yeah. they would do many firing. times mm-hmm. right they would do firing and many time it has happened like while the firing they have killed some certain people so in that case like what do you think uh, my, my yeah that that's why we have uh, this provision like when you are drinking and when you are driving you will be arrested so it is not it cannot be excused that you are not under so you are under influence of something which can intox which can intoxicate your body so it is not like i have i had drugs or i had alcohol so i can do this crime or give me less punishment so that's your that is your first fault that you were under influence of something and after that you committed the crime mm-hmm. okay okay and self defense like what if a person is doing in order to self defense then it is okay like uh, mr mine is saying apart from self defense no such thing as a heat of moment defense in the court of uh, okay yeah maybe he's law graduate i don't know but it might be true okay links are not allowed in the comment section uh yes guys links are not allowed not any form of link are allowed cat <laughs> neha's question neha kuch nahi why don't criminal eat shit in the unconscious and unawareness <laughs> मोहम्मद फरहान इज शेयरिंग हिज यूट्यूब चैनल लिंक अमन यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड यू एक्सप्लोर इट या दैट इज वीडियो ऑफ पाकिस्तान फ्लड ओहो but the moment this is not good way to get subscribers and uh, one more thing guys like since we are talking about crime like we are talking about rapist and all i don't know like but in comment section i think kalpana was the one like she just wanted to know about what if if it is a uh, what do we call it uh, marital rape like sorry sorry after marital. Marital, like yeah marital rape then Mm-hmm. In that right, case, exactly. that is quite complicated. In I guess uh, there Very are com- many countries as well where uh, the marital rape is a crime, but in India it is not there at least. But it will be very complicated no, it because it is, is very one, hard think, to prove. I, I think recently there were some cases. I think there there is some law, like some amendment is there. There were some there were some cases, but uh, like we have not yet uh, like codified a law to criminalize marital rape. As per my knowledge, I'm not sure. But it is like uh, I like. i don't know but there is something like uh, the, the the thing is that when you are married with someone so what indian court says uh, like few days back there were, there was also a news that just because a woman she was not wearing mangal sutra so uh, i guess kerala court or high court or something like uh, so they said this thing like you are doing uh, you are not doing good thing so you can think about what would be the condition of marital rape because in according to indian maybe the law so it says that like when you are uh, when you are married with a person so that person or the, that man is entitled to you uh, to have favors in this form so because of this thing like we don't recognize marital rape as a crime okay yeah it was kalpana's question kalpana is saying there is no law as okay Got it, it is very hard to prove as well. By that logic, like anyone can go, but there should be provision that just because you are married with someone, so it should not be against your, like without having your consent. Uh, quite liberal principle, but very difficult to implement and apply. And, and very vulnerable, very vulnerable to misuse as well. Yeah, I, it will be breach of privacy as well. Like you cannot. Uh, apply like you cannot install cctv in everyone's bedroom 
if she was having her consent or not. Like after having, uh, after doing intercourse, she might say that like, oh, she, she, oh, he did it without my permission. It is very difficult to prove as well. Now we will. It's... But the topic is quite interesting. And and guys, one more thing. Like, like when are... people say, when people say like rehabilitation. So do you think are, does that work? Re rehabilitation. I mean? Of course it works. Have you watched this movie, Shoshank Redemption? Yeah. Yeah, watch that movie, I think. Uh, you should. Yeah. You should watch it. Not all, because there are some uh, serial criminals as well. Like, suppose they're arrested for robbery. After uh, releasing from the jail, they will do the same thing again. So it is not like re rehabilitation will work in all the time. But uh, to a certain extent, it can be helpful to... So, for, uh, for those who are not a professionally, like who person. are not professional criminals. Yeah, yeah. in that context. <clears throat> okay, now we can switch the topic. You might have heard those. No, no, like, see, you might have heard, uh, watched. Was... You, Rohan, Rohan, you might have watched those videos as well in some of the US courts. Uh, like, I watched it long back. Like, there was one guy, uh, he killed. Uh, one guy and after like so he was about to uh, like he was sentenced to some like jail or something for a term but her that the person who got killed so his mother uh, she said like I want to forgive him and they were hugging and they were crying so sometimes these things will also happen no not very often but sometimes okay so, yeah, so my even in, even like a mother of Nirvaya also forgave one guy who was under age 17. So see in in her interview she said that like it's okay to forgive that guy. There was five rapists, four got the capital punishment and one was released. It was because Don't of her age. Yeah. Yeah. Don't line, yeah. 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 So yeah, so my question is that like some of the like I have just heard and some of time I will have like of course heard that some of them they have committed crime couple of times they, they have they have been to jail couple of times even though they have been to the rehabilitation process but still there is no improvement like Are there the, many such people you will easily find such people in Bihar in Fatna even in my friends zone like people who are like jails are sasural for them. Uh, do we call them history shooter or something? Habitual offenders, man. Habitual. Yeah, habitual offenders. Like, are idiots. Uh, and what is history shooter? When yeah, same thing. Like, no, history shooters are some like, you know, more uh, serious crimes. History shooters. Like, you know, they mm -hmm. sort of do some media okay. crimes and all that. So, habitual offenders are like this, uh, uh, what is that? Chain snatchers and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, if you have, like, you know, I, I would suggest you guys to watch that Mind Hunter on Netflix. I think I've suggested it earlier also. So it just gives you that insight about, like, how criminal mind works in the first place and how they are, uh, like, totally oblivion of what is happening inside the head. And that is the reason they do it, like, consistently. So if they are, like, totally out of control, it's like that. The genes make them to behave like that. Yeah. Is it a documentary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, even uh, I, I yeah, it's a web more, series. Uh, one more thing, guys. I think Falguni was there, and Falguni said that uh, even though the psychology say at the first place, most of the time, like they are the slave of their environment and maybe the upbringing. So, like yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. See, I said you right. Like, see, why? Uh, 
it's very important to tweak the mindset of the rapist right so what happens is in india if you see in the nirbhay rape incident their their upbringing or their environment was totally toxic in the sense uh, like they had a prostitution uh, house nearby you know the, the place where they used to live and they used to see uh, the, the even the toxic patriarchy where they used to see their husbands like their own fathers come and beat their own mothers so they used to think that you know a woman is like an object and you can do anything with her so that was the mindset uh, they mm-hmm. sort of grew up with so that is the reason that is a motive so what what is really important is the poverty poverty is one of the major issue and yeah. these are the by product of all like these are all by products of it so if you can alleviate the poverty if you can make sure that like the standard of living is improved then all these crimes will take uh, care of itself so that is the role of the government but they don't do it but they don't seem to understand this thing so essentially the main root of the problem is poverty itself yeah it will manifest in different forms yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is also a proven fact that like some of the countries which are like in european countries when they accept immigrants so and immigrants are basically poor they don't have any means to survive so uh, the crime rate will increase so though we should be sympathetic about those people as they are suffering or victim of some yeah. of the bad things like terrorism or something but still it says that like when uh, us accept mexican immigrants or from like latin america so they might do some crime so that's why they are like people uh, like european countries as well they are quite skeptical about accepting like they are particular as well like who should we accept and uh, i guess you might have heard this the psychological disorder as well like kleptomaniac behavior which mm. is like that that person he doesn't want to steal but he will steal maybe uh, by habit like and after that he will regret as well but he will not uh, like he he is kind of slave of his habit he will steal the things they call it kleptomaniac mm yeah even in india and usa you can see those group of people those community who are educationally backward they are indulged in crimes so, more they are more indulged in crimes so, compared so to the like, people so, some, so pe- guys, some people so, become criminals because of the circumstances as rohan said because of the you know circumstances or other reasons some people across the world they are like criminals by nature that is like the genes sort of make them like that and they are like you know they can't control yeah. their own uh, this thing that is like common across the world you you come across this kind of people okay that is different but at least we can reduce these kinds and, right like in this yeah and, and and don't you think like sometimes when we watch these people in web series or cinemas we also uh, sympathize them or, or we celebrate them like you can see money heist though they were doing a wrong thing but still we were like uh, like we, we just want that robbery to happen Yeah, yeah like, like even this pushpa maybe uh, rocky bai and all these characters like you know you're rooting for the bad guys right somehow <laughs> you're yeah. rooting for the bad guys and you're so, supporting that wrong cause so, yeah yes yes yeah that's true like. especially mirzapur web series like they literally glorified the criminals yeah. or you can see the movies as well like which we are just this this is just like a character cleansing thing like sanju or Sanju, uh, yeah. you can say this azuruddin's move as well azuruddin's move as well yeah yeah and exactly money heist and then which was the second series uh, the breaking bad as well breaking bad as well so it's all about like somehow we have this dark uh, character dark nature that everyone yeah. has but it needs that environment yeah. to just manifest or get triggered and these guys because of the toxic environment which they have been raised in they get triggered and they sort of exhibit this kind of behaviors but somehow we chose not to do it or deliver it because of our own bringing or because of the awareness that we have got yeah and when like so when, what i mm-hmm. this bit okay when uh, when like so, uh, me, okay i i will i will go first when mirzapur uh, second series was released on twitter so it was trending and i once uh, i made one tweet against that web series and all the fans all the radical fans of that web series started like abusing me like <laughs> so i was like even the mentality we are developing because of this kind of entertainment consumption is really problematic Yeah, right. So, as you guys said, like even in comment section as well, people said like poverty is one of the reasons. So, but as we know that, like if we talk about country like India, so we are growing country still. Like seventy percent of the population that lives in a village, 
and uh, like unemployment that is growing every day so so the poverty will be there like no maybe for maybe i don't know maybe more than a decade or maybe more than 50 years i don't know so do you guys think like even though the education that can, that cannot eradicate because the if poverty would be there then it would happen better life standard education awareness and uh, money i think money in, in the sense of finance this will definitely el- not entirely eliminate but uh, up to large very large extent it will reduce massively the crimes because you can see like if you see the crime rates in sweden and or switzerland so, and compared to the crime rates in india and pakistan so you will see the substantial difference so of course uh, me, like a standard of life definitely matters for crime and all these things and uh, you you can you, you might have watched some of the videos as well like those vloggers or youtubers they say this thing or some anecdotes from some people as well like if uh, there is one uh, pocket or wallet someone left in train or something so people they will return it instead of stealing it or taking it in uh, countries like south korea i have heard this example because they are already very like stable in terms of finance so they don't need any others money yeah and uh, when when we are talking about this thing like why do we um, sympathize or celebrate the criminal so in uh, political science there is one debate as well like it is hume versus rousseau or voltaire something i don't remember so this hume he says or maybe hume says this thing like humans are uh, nasty brutish or like he use very uh, very sure great people yeah yeah derogatory word to explain human behavior so he says that like we are uh, innately or we are fundamentally wild creatures but just because we are having some uh, norms set by the society so we just we just accept it and we live by it so otherwise so that's why we do celebrate when we say this why why do we celebrate many heist people who are doing robbery and if we were at that position so we would not have committed that thing in our life at all but why do we support like as nitya said we might have this dark side everyone wants to do this thing or and we also know that like somehow they will not get caught so it is like we should do it but because of we don't want or we can't do this thing so let's celebrate all those things or when we sympathize this breaking bad character or why do we empathize villains like uh, in batman that joker the yeah. joker as well like that villain he's, uh, he is he he actually very famous than the batman itself though he was very with like criminal behavior or this recent joker Mm-hmm. so it is like complicated we somehow we also having this criminal mindset but we are getting we are abided uh, like we are chained in this rules set by the society so you want to say guys there are couple couple of factor like because as, as you said like poverty so if i talk about united state still crime rate is quite high there however there is less poverty right no 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 in, in you have to see the very... background of those criminals their financial condition of those criminals us is the most uh, like uh, very like i guess us will be in the top in terms of uh, income inequality it is not like people are mm-hmm. not poor there it is the more than india i guess us is at the income in, in, income inequality or wealth inequality it is more than india mm-hmm. we see But, the good things because they are project they project this things in a way like we will never see a uh, like bad image of usa as they show it of india but mm. this is, crimes are still happening over there people are poor over there homeless people are there but we don't see that side because it is less projected we all see we see the flowery things only which are like lavish lifestyle of the people and how are they spending in some of these brands or all those things but poor people are also there like very poor okay but like some of my friends like you know they have been to us and they said like the lifestyle they have shared like you would not find like in a way people they yeah break. common man's life you can of course say this thing like middle class life is quite good uh, when we compare to middle class of india yeah income per capita is much higher yeah but uh, the income income inequality is uh, larger in usa than india 
ultra capitalism that's yeah. right if people should really understand okay and mostly like uh, you can see that this movies as well from uh, this daud or gangsters movie we celebrate those things like uh, gangs of phosphorus as someone said or this uh, shoot out at lokhandwara or satya. shoot out at oh yeah satya mm-hmm. yeah because no one will uh, like you know <laughs> will come to theaters to watch sanskrit uh, you know verses being played out right i mean they'll never <laughs> come to those theaters yeah you want this bye bye kya hai you know this kind of movies yeah even in the kgf uh, it should not get that much support like i literally find it quite uh, weird movie the, the way he was uh, approaching into the lok sabha or this, uh, the parliament and he was killing one person <laughs> in front of prime minister it was completely i think that whole sense. movie was like logicless man i don't yeah, understand like, how people yeah. Uh, sort of appreciated that uh, yeah that craft of him but somehow it sort of he sort of made that that world of kgf yeah, and so, yeah. sort of people accepted it quite That's imaginary it. yeah and you know it sort of plays that one thing the mother sentiment out there so it sort of worked mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah that's it instead of her mother like you know should have might have guided him to become an is officer or someone else right why would she <laughs> make him a gangster <laughs> you know she could have motivated him to become an is officer right i mean someone else why would she motivate him to become a gangster Bold. so and the tri- logic was too trivial just because i guess she wasn't she was suff- uh, like she was struggling to get some gold or she was liking gold <laughs> he will get the gold of all the india or the world <laughs> like more imaginative than harry potter or some no, fantasy but like, world no see, but see 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 uh, but aman like let me tell you like you no know, in a society we have some mindset let me tell you like again you guys would laugh like i have come across in my village like some of the people i have seen if there's a fight so what they educate to their child maar ke aana maar kha ke mat aana So that is what they have been taught right like if there's a fight to make sure you hit that person if you are the victim then at home i will beat you right so can you just think about that mindset like the parents that is how they educate to their child because it's it's a matter of you know pride, pride. Like if, mm-hmm. uh, honor it's a matter of honor right so i think in that movie it is okay no if she saying like go for the be criminal <laughs> Have you ever indulged in any kind of physical fight? This question is for everyone. No, yeah. Agni, like I wasn't there. I think Nitish. I think because I have seen sometimes like he become. No, 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 no physical no. physical fight in real life. I tell you what used to happen in my school life. Uh, we used to have this like small small gangs, you know, that Pontino used to never understand. Like, you no, know, that was quite naive. So we used to have a nearby stadium. Okay, we nearby school. We used to have a stadium. So there used to be build ups, build ups. Like, you know, for example, if we have some a fight against some other guy, then the the guy, if the other person has some contacts and all that, used to like inform his seniors, and the seniors used to come. Even from our gang, like we used to call some other seniors and all that. So the build up is to happen. Okay, come to the stadium. I'll, I'll meet you there. so this kind of things to us uh, this things to is to happen yeah. i know it is to come to stadium yeah nothing is to happen nothing just build up <laughs> nothing no fight nothing yeah this only words yes yes that yeah, has happened most of the stories uh, like i'll see you out of the school or going in this way only like nothing will happen yeah but the way you challenge it seems like you are the don of the school no like i'll see you outside yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it is even that has happened in like with me as well because you know in every class like you would find certain gangs like people love to have those groups and we would have some link up you can say we can pull some strings you know uh, in, the, yeah. in, the, in the upper <laughs> class then we would Belt. yeah we would, then we would portray that hey if you are powerful i'm also powerful mm. yeah 
I think Jagu has been into it, right? Jagu, as you have said, like earlier. Like my were... college is very infamous in terms of ragging, in terms of physical confrontation. So yes, I did have indulge, and I have broken some of heads, some of uh, faces, some like I have, and I also got broken my head as well. So I had like sometimes, maybe twice or thrice. Because because you represent Bihar, Bihar no? <laughs> no, like it's kind of inevitable. Sometimes, like you will face the level of things you will face in the college, especially from the seniors, and they will literally try to torture you, try to uh, suppress you in terms of emotion, in terms of like the level of abuses they will. I mean, it's sometimes for me, maybe I'm very sensitive. And I'm somebody who's physically very capable. As you know, I'm six feet one inch tall. So even if he's senior, then I, I will not tolerate. So sometimes I get, and of course, I'm also having my friends join and all that. I don't appreciate this, but yes, I did indulge in all these things. And in no, my college, yeah. Sorry, like if you see the premise of ragging itself, it's it's completely misplaced. Why? Because, for example, if someone has um, you know has gone through that ragging and all that, so what he'll do is like he'll do the same thing with his own juniors. So yeah. I don't understand like why they exhibit that behavior. For example, if you have gone through mm-hmm. something, why do you have to like project it to some your next generation? I mean, the next exactly. juniors. <laughs> they do it. They do it because exactly. they haven't healed. Yeah, they haven't healed. So they think that if they do it, they can heal it. They no, can no, heal no. through this, this process. This is why, yeah. in the same way, you no, know, the way like people say. Uh, like no, in the corporate uh, culture, people say like uh, we need to lick the boots of our bosses, and when you would be boss, then you would want the other to lick lick your boot, no? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? I mean, you yes. haven't healed, you haven't healed. That's what I'm saying. Like you know, you haven't healed. You don't know no, no, what so you, exactly. You tell, you tell. Yeah. I know that you are a working guy. I know that you are a working guy. So maybe. most of the time you would be buttering up your boss right most of the time so when you would be a boss won't you expect that people they should also come and lick your boot like something i don't know no 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 i would never i never expect that here yeah, for Are sure come on come on man like what <laughs> come on means like really why would i expect someone so, to lick my boot uh, rohan rohan so uh, there there is one saying uh, they say this thing like the in the same way the uh, Nitya said, "Like, why do people who suffer from ragging they will indulge in the same thing again? Like, they will." <coughs> so they said this thing, like the people who were sexually offended, they will be. It is more likely that they will do this thing with someone else. Mm-hmm. So it is probable that, and I can I can uh, feel it is like the way he said, like he don't want if he'll become boss. So I did the same thing. Like I was in one college, and for one year, complete year, I was victim of uh, this ragging. Though occasionally I was like I was uh, opposing them. Like I was the only one who opposed it. And after that, they were like I then I transferred myself from to different college, and they were consoling me like at the time. uh the seniors like no this was the only one year now you will do the same thing so i so the in second year there will be no ragging but i left it because i don't wanted to do this thing like there is no point in uh like having fun with mm. physical physically abusing someone so so it it is up to you like what kind of uh uh intention or what kind of things you want to do it is like sometimes some people they will enjoy ragging because they will think like oh this is only one year next three year i will enjoy like mm-hmm. to the when juniors will come mm-hmm. so it is according to the personal choices mm-hmm. so nitish like as you said like you not so ever has has happened like your boss he has cracked a very poor joke and all of them like they have laughed and you did not like has it happened <laughs> 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 like you said man like it's it's a poor joke i would not laugh like the or just you also followed the crowd like because everyone is laughing actually my boss is cracking a joke all this a very poor joke right so yeah i'll tell you one thing uh, i'll never overdo it i'll never be like you know in the face and i'll i'll be like you know sort of a beggar and try to make a scene out of make a scene in the sense like i'll not to overdo it like try to be explicit you know of course if someone is laughing of course i see the stupidity of that and i'll just laugh little bit but why would i just uh, overdo it and try to lick his boot <laughs> so, you know i'll never do it man like i don't understand why i don't want to do that yeah and you won't like see nobody wants like but sometime like you would say in order to pacify the things because you no know, again that is the maybe the demand of the time because boss is cracking a joke and everyone is laughing so somewhere you would also you know carry some smile on your face otherwise then you would be the abundant from the you could say 
from the crowd because then was was yeah so i got it yeah yeah correct yeah. no you don't have to be rebel of this right i mean sometimes you just have to yeah compromise and all but i don't overdo it like you know that uh, the middle path or the fine balance that balance is very important yeah. but anyways i've left the job right now it's a different story altogether so yeah <clears throat> okay so you have left the job mm. i uh, like actually i got some small breaks so that's why i'm here yeah <clears throat> okay okay cool cool i hope like this what we few days back we have discussed i think then you are going to start that right i think some coaching and all yeah that. yeah yeah great 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 man good all the best niti sorry all the best in this for your next yeah yeah thank you. thank you thank you for you as well so all the best for you as well sorry 